All right, this is going to show using cut custom muttons to fix the problem that we see here. So I've got three windows. They're mulled together. I put an arch on them. And this is what Chief does, this left-hand left side window. The center window, the, the you know, this, this center bar here, this is going to stay the same as it was when it was a square window. But Chief, for some reason, moves everything, all the muttons down, so they no longer align. So this window over here on the right, I've used custom muttons to correct that problem. And it's easy to do. And there's, there's multiple ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you one. When I'm doing uh, windows like this, I like the, the individual lights, the individual panes to be the same size if possible. So that's what I've, I've, got, I've done here. I've just got these same three windows. They're all fixed. The lights are the same size. And right now they're individuals. So I'm just going to select them all. I'm going to create a mold unit. Open that. I'll do 12. Again, if you're, if you're, um, you know, like doing an S belt or something, you'll need to enter, enter your own things. Or if you're using stock windows or custom ordered windows, you'll need to figure out all the dimensions. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. You'll see what happens immediately when I when I put that arch in here, these two outside windows, the the muttons drop down, which is not what we want. So I'm gonna come up here and do CAD de detail from view and zoom in here a little bit. And you can see I'm just gonna point to point from there to there, ten and an eighth point to point from there to there, 10 and an eighth. So that shows you that the pane sizes are the same width. If they were not, it's easy enough to adjust the windows so they do match. So I'm going to undo that a couple of times. So the reason I like to let Chief build all the muttons to start with is because you have all the lines already um, that you need to do this. And in the CAD detail from view, all these are just lines. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to center it right there. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to center it right there. And then I'm going to select them. When you're doing custom muttons, the line, the CAD line that you draw is going to be right in the center of the mutton. And I know these are 7 eighths wide, so I'm going to use Transform Replicate. And I'm going to go to minus 7 sixteenths. And so now these two lines are right in the middle of these, right where we want them. And then I'm going to take this line. And I'm going to transform replicate. And I'm going to move it over 7 sixteenths. So now that line is right in the middle of where we want that to be. And you don't have to do this, but you can if you want. You can come up here and adjust this down a little bit. Just as long as it's close, it'll work. So I'm going to select that line, I'm going to select this line, and I'm going to select this line. And then I'm going to make a CAD block. And then I'm going to copy, or you could cut. I'm going to copy, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to control alt v And that puts our CAD block right where we want it. And then I'm going to click on this window. I'm going to hit Tab. 
and that's going to select that window. That's how you select individual windows in a mold unit. And then while that window is selected, there's this icon in the edit toolbar. Now this my edit toolbar is up here on top. Usually it's down here at the bottom. I just drag it up and docked it up here at the top, so it's with all the other ones. So I'm gonna click this and watch watch the window when I click. The the program is smart enough to remove the the um the windows that it generated and generate new ones using that CAD block. So let's go back over here. And there's that CAD block. And so I'm going to copy it. Come back over here. Control Alt V. And then I'm going to I think there's the is this reflect about. Okay, I'm gonna reflect about and you can see this is X fourteen, so it's really nice it shows you. I'm gonna reflect it about this window. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Click click the mole unit, hit tab, you can see that selects that window. So there it is. Pretty simple. So I'm just curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna unmold this window. And then I'm gonna take this window and I'm gonna go to lights. And I'm gonna because sometimes you see this configuration. Sometimes you'll see a, picture, a window without lights, and then you'll see these other flanking windows have have divided lights. So I'm going to select all those. I'm going to mull them. Open it. Put my arch back in. And you can see that this bar here is lined up with this bar and this bar here is lined up with this bar. So I wish the program would do this automatically. I wish it would, you know, when you've got a situation like this that it would, we could either tell it to you or it would know to do this, but it doesn't. And like a lot of things, it takes a lot longer to talk about it when you're doing a video than it does just to get it done.